Hey everybody, welcome back to Comic Crow, and uh, let's talk about the breakup between Keffels and uh, Keemstar. But before that, the day before the breakup, uh, Keem was using his new uh, uh, turn and being a trans ally uh, to, to attack the quartering because the quartering was making fun of him for it. I thought that Keemstar was making jokes. I thought it was a joke. Now, I mean, just, just a couple days ago, uh, we talked about how uh, Tipster had gotten involved in this little back and forth between Keem and Quartering. And I, I honestly thought Keemstar was joking when he said he wasn't going to get Hogwarts Legacy uh, and, and was going to uh, uh, do something else. I, I don't know. It was, it was kind of a silly tweet, but I guess this was his attempt at appealing to Keffels and showing that he really was a trans ally, which I think is just a joke. Look, I, I'm not going to go as far as to say Keemstar is a bigot and is transphobic. I don't think he cares. Like, Keemstar is very old school internet. I, I don't think he honestly cares. I think that after what happened with Salvo, where Keemstar falls out of a chair, Salvo laughs in his face, so Keemstar cancels their show together. Keem kind of realized, hey, that was a fuck up because he didn't have anything to bounce back to. He's He's been like fading out in relevancy. And so he decided, okay, okay, if I can't, if I can't work with Salvo because he's, he's a pissed baby boy and he laughed at me, uh, I'm going to go to Keffels because Keffels is kind of like a, a polarizing figure for most people on social media, right? H however, Keffels is somebody who, who, you know, you have to be a strong ally for the transes uh, or, or else then uh, you're, you're a bad, evil person. So, so Keem went around, pretended and masqueraded that he was this this huge uh, trans ally. And uh, well, uh, uh, let, let's just see how that played out. Team Star, I don't think he's an ally, Keffels. Yeah, it, it didn't last very long. You see, um, they they were supposed to uh, uh, do a stream together, right? And, uh, you know, Keffels was all happy about it. Look, they even included quartering in this thing. That's adorable. That's adorable. Uh, Keem, Keem had worked Keffels up to go after quartering. Or maybe Keffels uh, uh, wants to go after quartering herself. It's really hard to say because I know that really that relationship is mostly between Burger King and Baldo. But but anyways, the, the stream apparently didn't go uh, very well. In, in fact, uh, where is it? I, I don't know what she's responding to here because it was deleted. Uh, maybe it was her own tweet. But you can see uh, she she uploads this uh, uh, YouTube video, which is a re-upload of the stream from Twitch. She she titles the YouTube video at first is Keemstar a trans ally and then retitled it to destroying Keemstar in a heated debate. That's because uh, Keem went on there and he didn't sufficiently bend the knee far down enough. He, he didn't lower his head down enough for uh, Queen Keffels. And, and let's be real. I, I think Keffels knew from the start that Keemstar was just doing this to try to, you know, gain some relevancy, boost himself back up, uh, bring in somebody that's polarizing like Keffels, to help him, you know, uh, reignite his audience a little bit, uh, create a little bit of drama. Uh, but the thing is about Keffels, her community are, are some of the most bigoted and hateful people, period. You either 100% uh, support the trans community or you're evil and you're transphobic and you want trans people to die, right? There's only two ways there. And Keemstar coming in, who, who let's be real, doesn't know anything about the trans issues, doesn't even care about them. When, when he did talk about them in the past, it was mostly to piss on trans people a little bit. Uh, so and, and so, so let me just say that there is nothing wrong with that as far as I'm concerned, right? Uh, take the piss out of however you want, uh, especially Salvo. But it, it, for the Keffels community, you can't do that. You, you absolutely cannot do that. Um, they'll go back seven years into your tweet history. Keffels has done that to people. So I, I, I think that, again, both these individuals, let's be real, probably both hate each other. And they both saw an opportunity to use the other person to grow. Now, I think it's more embarrassing for Keemstar to do that because Keemstar is the one who has to essentially walk back a ton of stuff that he has said while groveling to a YouTuber that is much, much smaller than him in terms of view, views and sub count and as far as where they've actually gone. 
uh, with their careers. For Caffles, this is kind of on brand, right? Caffles is trying to uh, uh, bring somebody in as a trans ally. Caffles is 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 taking down Keemstar. This all works for Caffles. Keemstar is the one who's got uh, egg on his face. But uh, I, I I saw it here. Right. When I was like, guys, I talked to Keemstar on stream and I'm starting to think he's not actually a trans ally. I, I mean, bro, like even, even her like replies, <laughs> dude, come on. I, I was like, yeah, yeah. yeah like her own audience seems to to, to know. Uh, but but also there was an apology video uh, that was uploaded uh, yesterday morning and I, I didn't see it. I was kind of. Uh, taking a break from uh, for, from social media for a little bit as much as I could, and I, I didn't see this, and I, I thought it was funny. Okay, she she uploads a three minute video just titled "I'm Sorry, I Will Do Better," uh, and and it's all because she platformed Keemstar, and and I, I have to say, I guess at the end of the day, quartering is the only one who gets to walk away laughing. This. This was being used by Keemstar to, to go attack quartering, and now uh, Caffles, the, the, the trans person, is saying, now Keemstar is not a trans ally. I'm so sorry. I should have done better. I should have never platformed him. I should have seen it for what it was. And I'm just, I'm just dying of laughter, right? Because and like anyone watching this knew Keemstar was full of shit. Anyone watching this knew Keffels was full of shit. Neither of them trusted the other person. They were just trying to use the other to grow. And and now that Keemstar has gone on to uh, Twitch stream with Keffels and, and shown her entire community, right? Completely mask off that he is not 100% in support of everything that the trans community does. Well, now, now it's all blowing up in his face and it's just funny. It's like I'm watching that clip again and again and again and I can't stop laughing. Cool, I like that a lot. I wish it was like bigger with the whole, oh shit. Oh my God, oh, holy fuck. He broke the leg. Keep going, bro. <laughs> oh, we got that on recording. He broke the leg. We got that a recording too. <laughs> but what do you guys think in the uh, comments section? Uh, let let me know uh, because this this entire thing you have to admit is is pretty damn funny.